welcome to back to the Dyson's Crazy Adventures. I'm Christina. We're bringing you on a garden update. Take you along with some watering and let's see how the garden's going. Stay to the end because there is an update on something to come within within the channel. So hope you enjoy. Okay, let's rock. So we're trying this again. I went in to go edit and my footage was gone. So here's an update on everything out here. So these flowers rebloomed. They're doing good. They've taken over. My cucumbers are trying to. They still got flowers. And we do got some cucumbers trying to produce that's mud but there's a cucumber there trying to produce um, my sage is coming out this year it's done there's lemon balm there's thyme, there's rosemary, they're all still doing well. My dill has flowered, but the wasps like it, so I'm just letting it go to seed. And then my raspberries have decided to take over this other planter as well. We have two girls that decided to attach themselves. And we have a bunch down here that I'm gonna transplant. I did pull a lot of dead leaves. Um, my flowers over here are doing very well. There's some that are dying down, but they're replanting and taking over. And then my mint, peppermint is doing well. I need to cut that down and take some in and dry it. Here's my little helper. He wants some attention. He wants some attention. Cherry tomatoes. First video, I had some cherry tomatoes on it um, that I ended up picking. I did leave those two there to ripen a little bit more, but there's still a ton. The wind did knock these over, and we had to stake them up and tie them up. They were laying completely flat down here. Um, this is a watermelon that is growing slow. Here it is, August. <clears throat> this is what it's doing. I did run it up a trellis. We'll see what it does. That's a late tomato plant that came from in the house. This also came from in the house. Um, there's another tomato plant that it's not doing very well. That is a supposed to, was supposed to be a cantaloupe that I thought died, but it tried to come back. Let's see here. We're gonna walk this way with the help of a cat who's following us. Um, what to say about my raspberry bushes? and blackberry bushes. The grasshoppers have taken them over. Yes, I hear you, Padawan, under the trailer. Um, they're not doing very well. If anybody has any suggestions, I have fer I've fertilized them, I have given them fish emotions. I just don't know what's going on. They get sun, they get shade, but the grasshoppers are also taking them. I think I'm gonna cut them down this fall and see what they do next year. I got one raspberry half of it. Our tomatoes. I will touch a picture. I did pull some tomatoes. I do still have some turning that aren't ready. I have quite a few big green ones. Yes, I hear you. 
I will give you some food in a minute. And then we have jalapeno peppers. I did roast some jalapenos in the oven and I did make 19 jalapeno poppers. But there's three jalapeno plants, four tomato plants. They're almost as tall as me. Got some cut turning over here. Then we have this big pepper plant. Uh, we got a couple of green chilies. This plant I did buy from the nursery and it is called a Big Jim. So I'm gonna roast them and turn them into green chilies. I'm hoping to get some more. This plant, the wind has knocked it over as well, and it has gotten pretty heavy. This is a volunteer plant. It grew up here on its own from last year's dirt. Um, these will be purple cherry tomatoes, or black cherry tomatoes. I'm believing that's what they're going to be. It's what they look like. I can't wait. So, we've got things growing. I can't wait to make salsa. I got more peppers to pick, but I'm going to give them a little bit longer. And then green chilies to pick. And we got a kitty following us. It has been 97 degrees today, so it is hot. And then we'll get some more cherry tomatoes soon. So everything is growing good for living in a mobile home. And doing a small little garden in boxes tomorrow next year. I might be looking at different boxes for back there. But I have a cat that I need to go feed and a video I need to go finish editing now that I'm able to come get you the update. I thought I got you earlier while I was watering. And I got a mess to clean up. Any idea on my cucumbers? Definitely leave a comment there as well. Let's head up to the zucchinis. That video did go, so it will be added onto this, and we'll go from there. So this is my flower bed in the front yard that I put in the pot for my number, my lovely sun and light. These flowers are doing awesome. Look how pretty that is. Got some new growth here. I just love how it has taken over and just bloomed. And here are my zucchinis. I do have a lot of male, but I do have a few females. See, there's a female right there. This plant has a lot of males. Yes, this one has a lot of males. It looks like there might be a female down there. And the grasshoppers have taken over here too. See? There's some males on this plant. Females, ouch, down there. 
Now it's a female, but I don't know if it's going to get very big. But I got some flowers in there, and I just got poked by a zucchini plant. But they're still producing. I've pulled six zucchinis so far. I've made zucchini muffins, zucchini bread, fried zucchini, baked zucchini, given a zucchini away. But there's the update. We're going to go back in the backyard, have a seat, and talk for a minute. Looky, looky, looky. That's not counting what the peppers that are ready, but we're not going to pull those right now. I'm going to let those grow just a little bit longer. My little helper taking a nap in the grass. <laughs> hey, what you doing? Hey guys, well, we're now going to do a little chat. So thank you for joining me um, on a little bit of a garden update. Sorry, it's not very energetic. <laughs> it's too hot. And right now it's uh, 7.30, almost 8 o'clock in the evening on Sunday. Um, so we've been thinking. I think we're going to try and do something fun and we'll see how it turns out. <clears throat> so... Keep an eye tomorrow on my community page. Um, I am going to do a question of the week. We're going to ask some random questions. Could be about gardening. Could be about school. Could it be about camping? Um, could be about crafts. Could be about holidays. Um, so what I'm going to do is on every Monday... I'm going to post a question of the week in my com on my community page. Please comment, answer, you know, the question of the day. Then what I'm going to do on Sundays, so you'll have until Sunday, you know, Saturday evening to answer the question. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to read the que your answers on a vi short video. Um, if you don't want your name mentioned in the video just say hey don't mention my name but this is my answer um i think it'd be kind of fun get to know a lot about you know everybody in the community everybody that follows get to know a little bit about me um and my family for those that don't know us a lot of you already do know most of us i might even get the kids to answer my question on video and I think it would be fun. So tomorrow, <clears throat> I'm not sure the time yet tomorrow, but tomorrow, just keep an eye on my community page. And there's going to be a uh, question and answer. Well, there's going to be a question of the week. And then Sunday, we'll drop the answers. So we're going to do it once a week. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. We'll see how it goes. I think it sounds fun. And I would love to see your answers. So as of right now, um, what's going on here is I'm still working. I'm still struggling a little bit with my job. But I'm still working. Cristobal is working, but his last day of work will be on August 24th. School starts on the 21st. And he wants to be able to, he's 14, so he wants to be able to study. He wants to be able to put his time into school. Because last year he kind of didn't do so well and his grades are going to count this year. Denna has just been Denna hanging out. We went to Lagoon twice so far this year. She's been hanging out with her friends, hanging out home, drawing, coloring, making bracelets, sitting in a room where it's cool because it's hot outside. We went to the pool once, but the pool's been closed this month due to management change. 
here in the park. Um, and Josh is just Josh. So that's just basically about us, an update on us. Um, well, hopefully we'll get you another update on the garden because the season's not over. I've been trying to think of things that I can plant for the fall. What I'm going to rip out and restart over this year. We'll see. But we're definitely going to try and do something for a little bit of a fall garden that we can grow here in Utah in the winter. But anyways, thank you for joining us. Hopefully you're having a blessed Sunday and I look forward to your answers of the question of the week. Thanks guys. Love you.